My name is Renee Catlow. I am the project manager for Sledge Receipt here at Tea Plant. The new mission here at Tea Plant is exciting because right now the crews at 100K near the Columbia River are packaging the highly radioactive sledge. They need to remove the sledge to reduce the risk to the river and ultimately cocoon those reactors. It's Tea Plant's mission to safely store those large containers of sludge until they can be treated and disposed of. And that will be beneficial to generations to come. So in preparation for sludge receipt at Tea Plant, the crews had to clean out the canyon and empty out the cells and install equipment for the sludge to be stored safely. It was exciting to watch that first truck roll through the gate. I think there was a little clapping, you know, maybe a tear was shed. <laughs> being able to see something that's being worked on for such a long time be, be started and then be completed. In a, in, I mean, it's not done yet, but it will be, and that's, that's a great feeling. So Tea Plant is 74 years old. People call it the Queen Mary. So originally Tea Plant was built to separate plutonium. This is the operating gallery, and on the other side of this wall is the canyon, and the canyon walls are seven feet thick. This old scale was used to weigh the dry chemicals that were then added to liquid to do the plutonium separation. So there's one piece of equipment that's actually older than tea plant here at the facility, and that is the canyon crane. We affectionately call her Darla. She's actually closer to 80 years old, um, and we got her from the Bremerton shipyard. And it was deemed that it was more important that she be here at tea plant than at the, at the shipyard, so because it was wartime, they were able to, to take it and bring it here. So with this new mission and the work going on here, the, the folks are proud of, of that mission. Just like the first mission of, of Tea Plant to separate the plutonium, um, there's a lot of respect for the history here and that pride continues, I think, with the new mission. I mean, there's, there's pride and there's respect. There's respect for the men and women that walked these halls before, before we did. Um, and you can see that. Everybody wants, wants it to be successful and that shows.